right. All right. So I mean, let's see what let's see what. All right, so this is GBPUSD on the London session. What I expected was, I was expecting price to come up to this um, Feverly gap up here. During the London session, I was not surprised was around was around this side, right? Around here. This candle has not come up to this Feverly gap you see here, not yet. So I was expecting price to come up, but then that's been having a bullish bias in London session, but then I was, pretty careful because I have to follow what my one hour is showing me rather than what right now, rather than what the daily is telling me because the one hour makes up the daily, right? So when I came, this is the price action happening. So I was able to spot a change of character that happened right here. Okay, ignore this huge spike, this was caused by news, right? So this big spike was caused by news. So we have to pay attention attention to the break of structure that happened and everything that played out. So in one hour, I saw a break of structure. And remember, our New York kills on time is 2 a.m. Eastern time. You can check it based on your timing from wherever you're watching this video. Okay, it's 2 a.m. Eastern time. My trading view is set at New York kill zone. Sorry, New York time, BTC minus five. That's how my trading view is set. So anywhere you are watching this, if you want to trade like me, you have to set your trading view to New York time. All right, so we have price sitting here. Now, since we have a break of structure to the downside, I'm using a straight scenario, something I call a straight scenario, because I have models for almost every market condition that shows up. So since I saw that there was a break of structure, I knew that price was going to head for this low before it takes off, because on the one hour, there was no way I could hang my feet. I normally work with Fibonacci, but there was nowhere to hang it if you look at this, ignore the spike. Before the spike, always look at where the market is from this vertical line is here. That's my two years and time. Look at it from here, right? Ignore the spike. So see there was a break of structure and price. This candle ran here to make this long week. I took it as the destination that price was going to run to. Okay, that price was going to run to. So what I just wanted to do, I wanted to see price chase this low, and after chasing this low, maybe a reversal could happen. So when price ran this highs, this buy side liquidity here, then I, I took my sell position because I know price had a motive of running down to this level. So when he took out this high, I took my sales from my one minute time frame. Let's go to the one minute time frame. From the one minute to this buy highs, and then I saw my break of structure, I saw my fair value gap. Sorry. So my fair value gap around here. Right. And that's where price entered my stop loss above this highs here. And you see price entered around to my take profits. So that's what happened during the London session. Okay. Now I knew that if price would take out this lows, there's going to be a potential buy but there was no entry for me on the one hour to get involved. I normally wait for a break of structure and a return to FVG before I buy, but it did not happen. The volatility was much and see price left for so much, you know. So that's what happened basically on the London session. Hope you understood the video. If you have any question, put it on the comment section, All right? And click the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel. So